Hello YouTube, welcome to Curious Me and in this screencast I will be talking about at the rate output and event emitters. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign click event to these links so that when I click home this is home is displayed and when I click list view this is list view is displayed. So simple enough and if you don't know how I reached till here please watch the videos and the link that I have provided in the description down below so let's just start from where we left off and let's start coding right away div ng I'll be using the ng switch property of angular 2 what it does is let me just write it first ng switch 2 now let's close this div here okay let me align it properly okay okay so so basically what I did is I did ng switch and I'm taking an input and if that ng switch value is equals to this then this will be displayed equal to if this case satisfied this condition this will be displayed and if the condition satisfied this particular block will be displayed so let's just uh, define switch to I'm gonna call it a string make it null for now simple and I'm gonna say tab name and I'll make it an array of string and just for I will say home and I'll say list view simple and I'll just write here tab name zero that if ng case is home then load home body if ng case is list view load list view body simple as that or we can say one more thing that if ng default case this does not have any expressions it's just default case simple as that load the home body so what it simply this statement is that if ng switch or switch to is home then load this component if that is list view load this component and if both these values are not present or switch to is nothing then in default case please load the home body simple as that okay so this was very simple this is nothing but now what I will do is on click of nav bar okay what I will do is I will emit an event so that I can assign a value to this switch to you are getting my point right when I click this home what I will do is I will create an event emitter which will em emit something like, like for example the name home so that this string switch to this variable is assigned as home so that this component is loaded and when I click here a list view name is emitted out so that switch to is assigned a value name so that sorry list view name is assigned to this switch to so that this component is loaded simple enough so let's just go to our nav component open this nav component.ts and open the HTML just right here why 
why not just press alt okay it does not work it only works in visual studio i guess so click this is how we write event in angular 2 so this is the click event of this anchor tag i will i'll write a function which i'll call show body simple as that and i'll ask pass the parameter as home simple as that right very simple why not write like this in a similar fashion so uh, i've just added this function click i've written it on each anchor tag click 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 now let's get back to our app component.ts and define that function and let this is the name of the function show body let's go here so let's just import a few things uh, i'll import output event emitter so let's first declare our output notify event emitter i'll be emitting a type string that is basically i'm um, saying that this is a variable notify which is which will give an output and it, event emitter i'll be emitting something which is a string so simple as that if new event emitter string that is done now what i'll do is i'll write the name of the function which we defined here show body so show body is my function and name string so what is happening here is i'm passing this home which is a string so that will be stored in this variable name okay which is of try type string what i'll say is this dot notify dot emit name so now what will happen when i click on this link this function will get called and this home will be passed onto this function now what this function will do is it will take the name and it will emit that name from out of this component okay so where will it go it will go to app component.ts here now here what i'll do is i'll write notify that notify your parent com com component that you have emitted something right so what i'll say is i'll say nav on emit sorry notify mm -hmm, sorry notify on emit dollar event simple as that right so i'll use that function name here and i'll just make the return type as void sorry void now what i'll do is see this dot switch to equals to what i'll do So what I'll do is I'll name string similar fashion. I'll write it name. So did you get what is happening here? See on nav component dot ts what I did is I created an event emitter notify. What it does is when I click on any of these links it calls show body function 
what show body function does is takes the parameter and emits it out using the event emitter okay now when I emit something I notify the parent component that I have emitted something all right so how do I notify using the notify event so what I did is on notify event I created another function the name of that function is notify on emit and I'm passing the parameter as event so the event coming from there the event which I emitted is the parameter so I emitted a string so that string is coming as a parameter so I'm storing it here in this name and my when I get this name I'm assigning that name to switch to and what will happen is the moment I assign switch to the name home this component will get displayed and when I assign the name list view this component will get displayed okay so I think it should work because yeah it should work let's see so right now see the home is displayed when I click on list view the list view is displayed so let's just inspect element and see see template binding something something list view body is displayed when I click home this ng reflect ng switch it is set to home now when I click list view it will be set to list view okay and the list view is displayed when I click home it is set to home and the home is displayed this is very simple and a very quick example of how we can use output and event emitter to make a simple and ng default case did not work right uh, just give me a few seconds sorry that was my mistake it is ng I guess it is ng switch default yeah so let's see what it means is if both these conditions do not match then by default display this home body when I click on home it goes to home When I click on list view it goes to list view when I click on contact us it should go to home why because by default it should always go to home when this and this condition is not satisfied it should go to this condition which says that on default load home body so as an exercise I'll suggest you guys to make contact us body component and explore body component and on clicking on each should load their respective body components it's a very fairly simple exercise and you can do that after watching this video only so and thank you for watching this video guys and in my next video I'll be talking about HTTP get I'll be getting some data from sorry I'll be getting some JSON data from dummy data which will be acting as my uh, what, we, what we can say is as my API's okay so I'll be getting JSON data and displaying it in a tab tabular format in this list view so thank you for watching this video don't forget to give a thumbs up please do subscribe and have a great day ahead